Good morning, BHS. I'm Ethan Madison. And I'm Varen Phillips. Varen, are you going to disco? No, I wasn't planning on it. Well, in case you want to, here's some information. Oh, hey BHS. I'm Matt Rizzio coming at you with some information about the disco dance. It'll take place April 13th, this Saturday, right here in the main gym. Be here, bust out some moves with your friends, get Liddy on the dance floor, have a good time. Tickets will be on sale in the lunchroom or at the gate. Be there. Wow, that was some good information. Let's bring it over to Ben Bacorny with Sports Desk. Good morning, BHS. I'm Ben Bacorny, and welcome back to another episode. Today on the show, we'll go over exactly what you need to know to get you caught up with sports here at Barrington High School. It's April 10th, and you're watching Barrington Sports Desk. We'll start out with the girls varsity water polo team who was in action in the Deerfield tournament over the weekend. They managed to pick up a second place finish on the day in that one. They'll next be in action tonight at Conant. Over to softball, the Phillies were in action twice last week, both during the middle of the week and at home on Friday. They picked up a big win over powerhouse Carl Sandberg for their 1,100th victory in program history. That puts them into elite company in the state of Illinois. Their next matchup takes place today at home against Prospect. The Broncos baseball team was in action last Saturday against Niles Notre Dame. They beat them in a slaughter rule victory. The Broncos take on conference rivals Palatine today at home. Over to Philly soccer, they will be in action today against Schaumburg. They're undefeated currently on the year and ranked number one in the nation. Boys lacrosse was in action on Saturday morning against St. Charles North. The Broncos were unable to pick up a victory in that tough matchup, but will be in action tomorrow night against Conant. And finally, over to boys volleyball, the Broncos took on a top competitor in the state when they faced Libertyville last week, but the Broncos made quick work of their tough opponent, defeating them in just two sets to win the game. With that speed round of updates, we'll wrap up this edition of Barrington Sports Desk. I'm your host, Ben Picorni, sending it back to the boys at the Anchor Desk. Thanks, Ben, but I think you missed one thing, ping pong. Let's send it over to Patrick and Matt with Ping Pong Club. Hey Barrington, this is Matt Rizzio coming at you with a special report. Who would be interested in playing ping pong with their best friends? Well, for those of you that said yes, I got some good news for you. Ping pong club is coming to Barrington High School shortly. What did you just say? Wait, what? Ping pong club is coming to Barrington High School very shortly. Are you How kidding? do I sign up? Email Mr. Martin for more information. It is not official yet. The club has not started, but it will start very soon. Oh, I totally forgot. It's time for What's, What's for, for Lunch? lunch? Hey Barrington, this is Patrick O'Donnell reporting live from inside 238 Studios with a new segment that I like to call, What's for Lunch? Alright, let's see. Gigi Gianni, how are you doing today? Good. What do you have for lunch? Eggs. And that's all we have for today, folks. What's for Lunch? Featuring Gigi Gianni. Back to you in the studio. Man, that looked great. Now it's time to get you in the know. What's up, Barrington? I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and it's time to get you in the know. Barrington Giving Day will be hosting a churro sale after school on Wednesday, April 10th at the front and gym entrances. Don't forget to grab your churros after school. They will also be having a Mod Pizza fundraiser on Thursday, April 25th. The World Language Department will be hosting their Honor Society's induction ceremony tomorrow, Thursday, April 11th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Rehearsals will also take place tomorrow right after school. If you are one of the inductees and have a conflict, make sure you talk to your language sponsor. Also, don't forget to come and enjoy wonderful music and support your friends in the BHS band program. Java and Jazz takes place in the cafeteria Friday, April 12th from 7 to 9. Lots of talent and tunes, beats and treats will be served. Just $3 for students. We hope to see you there. Also, up and coming for career checks is a visit to Elgin Community College on Friday, April 12th to learn about their automotive program. There will also be a visit to Walk on Farm Wednesday, April 17th to learn about careers in equine therapy and the benefits of therapeutic course training. See Mrs. Marabella in Student Services for more information and permission slips. That's all for this week, Barrington. I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and now you're in the know. Thanks for watching, BHS. I'm Varen Phillips. And I'm Ethan Madison. See you guys next time.